<clears throat> Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. Sure hope everybody's doing okay today. You guys have said that you would like to see a time lapse of me doing some trees. So, I've got a couple of small trees to do today. And... I'll just do a time lapse of those. Now, to kind of explain how this works, what happens is, hold on a minute, I gotta check my trailer just to make sure everything's, everything's set. I'll be right back, hold, hold that thought. So, it just didn't feel right. So the way this works is, um, the company gets a call, and they know the area really well. In fact, they can look on satellite and stuff to see the general vicinity, and they know how big or small trees are in those areas. And if they know that the trees are somewhat small, they call me. And they say, go take a look at these trees for us. Tell us if you can do them. So I go look at the trees. And if I can do them, I say, yeah, I can do them. It's going to take me this long and I need this much money. And they say, okay. So then what they do is they figure up how much they have to pay me and how much profit they need to make and then they get a hold of the customer and they submit an estimate so keep in mind that because I'm doing the job I'm using my vehicle my trailer my own equipment and I'm paying the dump fees everything that they're gonna make on this job is pure profit they don't have to send a crew out. They don't have to take their big truck and their chipper and pay six people for the day and pay the expense of fuel and all of that stuff. They don't have to do any of that. So whatever they're gonna make off this job for them, whatever they're gonna make is pure profit. So when they send me out to do a job like this, I'm trying to get that fuzzy stuff out of the way of the lens. When they send me out to do a job like this, if they get the bid and the customer says, yeah, I want you to do it, they send me out to do it. So all they have to do is pay me and everything above that is pure profit for the company. So that's how that works. So today is a small job. I have two trees to trim and some little trees way back behind the garage to cut down they're just little they're like this big around but they're like 20 feet tall it's um, elm shoots that have just grown up and they're between a fence and a garage so they don't have a lot of space to get big they just shoot straight up 20 feet so that that's going to be a nightmare to get those out of there but i'm going to do it so that's the way this works so the beauty of this is they're the contractor, I'm the subcontractor. So what I say I've got to make on this job, that's it. That's what I make on this job. I don't care what their profit is. I don't care what they bid the job for. So let's say for example, I go out and look at a job and I say, you know, this is an all day job. I figure up my expenses, I'm going to spend, you know, 30 bucks in fuel, uh, you know, I take my insurance for the vehicle and everything, and I section that down to 30 days, and all of that, and, you know, I figure up my daily expenses, what my daily expenses are, and then I turn around and I figure out how much profit I need to make. 
to make it worth me going out here and physically laboring in the hot sun all day long. And I say, this is how much money I need to make on this job. I know I'm getting that much money for this job, period. They're not negotiating with me once in a while, once in a while. They'll submit a bid to the customer. Customer will say, eh, no, that's a little too high. So instead of cutting their profit, even though they're not doing anything, I'm doing all the work. Instead of cutting their profit, they'll call me and say, hey, let's, you know, we'd like to get this job for you. Try to make it out like it's, they're doing me a favor. We'd like to get this job for you, but it's just, you know, the bid's a little too high. Is there any way you can do it for like a hundred bucks less? You know, well, that eats into my profit. Once in a while, I'll rethink it and I'll go, you know, yeah, I can do that. So they can get the bid. But most of the time, if they try to negotiate with me, I just tell them, look, this is what I need to make, period. I'm the one doing all the work. I'm the one driving my vehicle, spending my money, paying the dump fees, I have to have my own insurance, I'm using my own equipment, this is what I need to make on this job, period. So then if they don't get the job, that's fine because I'm not spending any money. I can just sit at home and not spend a dime. So I don't make a profit, but I'm not spending any money either. So that's the way that works. So I'm gonna do a time lapse of trimming these two trees. I won't show you the trees behind the garage. First of all, it's too dark back there because it's between a fence and a garage. I can't, there's nowhere for me to put a camera. I can barely fit between the fence and the garage, let alone put a camera back there. But I'll show you the two front trees that I'm gonna trim. We'll do a time lapse of those and then uh, I'll see if YouTube has some free music I can put in here uh, during the time lapse because it would be very boring for you to sit there and watch a time lapse without any sound at all. YouTube's supposed to have copyright free music, so we'll throw some free music in here, see if that works. And in the meantime, let's get to work. what you just saw was four hours of work I'll show you what else I got a good what what else I got to do today and this is you'll understand why I can't bring a camera back here there's absolutely no way for me to bring a camera back here there's nowhere to put it so you'll see here in just a second you'll see you'll see <laughs> so you see how close the the fence right here and the house are, or the garage are and we've got all these vines and this is kind of a pain in the butt I gotta get through all these vines and they're catching on my microphone and this right here all of these little all of these little elm trees need to come out they grow up behind the garage here and in the way of the uh, fence line right next to the fence line I've got to cut all those out drag them all the way through here luckily it's pretty shaded to this point but I got to drag them all the way through here all the way through all these weeds all the way around here and I'm hoping I can back the van up, the van and the trailer up right here in the driveway. But I gotta clean all this up first, get it all raked up and cleaned up. What you just saw was four hours of work 
of course I time lapsed it so you can see still got a bunch of cleanup to do got to rake all this up get it all cleaned up so I'm not going to film the rest of this I think you've seen enough and we're going to call that a day oh, for now oh I'm a little tired but I got to tell you since I've been able to get out and work and do this kind of stuff again I am coming out of my depression and that feels good now obviously I'm overweight I'm out of shape <coughs> because I've been sitting on my butt for five years so I'm overweight and out of shape but I'm starting to feel a lot better I'm starting to get in a lot better shape and pretty soon I'm going to be in such good shape I'll be able to do this all day every day without a problem <laughs> it takes time to get back in shape for doing this kind of stuff it's a lot of work a lot of physical labor and I'm just happy I'm outside to be honest I love my two day a week work from home job love it absolutely love it but by that token I also love being outside so this evens out beautifully it evens out beautifully for me because I can do my two day at work two day a week work at home and I can do my three day a week working outside and I absolutely love it so I'm getting back in shape it's gonna take a little while to lose this gut now, this is burning some energy though I mean think about it when I'm sitting on my butt at home I ain't burning any energy I'm not burning nothing I'm just sitting at home not burning any energy so getting out like this and working all day and I here's the thing when I'm sitting at home you don't realize that how much you're actually eating when you're sitting at home you know there's all these snacks in between and stuff like that that I don't realize I do but when I'm outside working like this I've got maybe about two maybe three more hours here so that'll be about seven hours of hard physical labor and I don't eat anything I don't eat until I'm completely done for the day got another hour of unloading at the dump so that's an eight hours of, of hard physical labor eight full hours of hard physical labor don't eat anything until I'm fully done with work I've burned a lot of energy and just like when I was doing it full-time for a living when I was doing this full-time owned my own company my wife would tell you that I would work all day 10 12 14 hours and then I would come home and eat a bologna sandwich and some chips I really didn't eat that much so I need to get back into that habit of not eating as much as I am because I need to lose this gut I need to burn up some energy and that's exactly what I'm doing so that's it for today my friends I'm not gonna bore you with uh, watching me load this stuff and all that crap it's it's two more hours maybe three and then I got to go to the dump and unload and I'm not gonna bore you with all that either so you guys wanted to see what it was like for me to, and these are small trees I didn't have to climb them so obviously you know if you want to see me doing a video where I climb the tree that's gonna be a little bit more difficult video to do but I can do it um, I do have a wearable camera that I can put on my head so you can see what I see from up in the tree uh, if you want if you're interested in something like that let me know I'll uh, be more than happy to film something like that for you but for now this is what you get four hours of trimming two small trees and then uh, that's it not gonna bore you with the rest so I hope everybody has an amazing day I hope you never forget to keep smiling keep trying and never give up gotta wear eye protection when you're running a chainsaw or running a saw of any kind and it's nice to have sunglasses you notice they got bifocals on them <laughs> I'll see you in my next video